Hello and welcome to Kedrick Builds. We're back with another episode of Icarus and we've been busy. We've moved a few things around in our base here. The biofuel composter is now over here so I can hook it up to the water, which uh, gives it a little bit of a speed bonus, which I thought was appropriate since we're using a lot more biofuel. I built a glass working bench since we'd unlocked that in the previous episode. I built the electric textiles bench because we're going to need to upgrade our armor at some point. This requires a whole heck of a lot of power, which we don't yet have. And then I also built the electric furnace since in order to build the upgraded armor with the composites and stuff and the upgraded machines with composites, we're going to need an electric furnace to make these composites. This also requires a lot of power that we don't currently have, uh, but I've gone ahead and placed all those machines down, so at least we've got them unlocked. And I've been gathering resources and making these composite pastes in the background. It's a simple recipe with iron ore, silica ore, organic resin, and then we used gold ore because we do have that deep mining gold deposit. Uh, and it's a bit cheaper than using platinum ore. We don't seem to have a huge supply of platinum at this point. And so I'm going to grab all these composite pastes out of here. And you know what? We're going to grab the electrical tool here. And I have run a power line kind of up and around our machines to make this a little bit easier. If I get the power tool out and right click on the machine, it's going to disconnect this one, which requires 2500 and that's going to let me come up here and connect this one, which is the furnace. Oh, did we not get it connected? There we go. And there we go. We're receiving power from the network. So if I toss these composite pastes in here, we should start making composites ever so slowly. But we are making composites which is awesome and as you can see our pickaxe here is broke this was our platinum pickaxe and so rather than repair that i checked and we have just enough components to make a titanum pickaxe we're really low on epoxy and carbon fibers that's all right so there we go we now have a titanum pickaxe we'll take this platinum one back to uh the chest of broken goodies here. Let's see, we guess we don't need some of these things in here anymore. And so this is our highest end pickaxe that we can build in open world. I'm not sure there might be some better ones if we were to go back up to the space station, but I'm not quite ready to do that just yet. And we have been with the glass working bench. We hooked this up to water, which is one of the reasons why it's over here. And I've been slowly making the parts to create a little greenhouse for our garden. And so we've got the glass, we've got the iron here, we've got most of the components. I'm short two glass walls to a box in our little four by four area. And the thing holding us back from that is this epoxy. This has burned through our entire stash of epoxy to build this little uh, two by two garden area so we're gonna go and get a bit more uh, materials here to do the epoxy we have been uh, doing a little bit of the sulfur variant with the tree sap here just to get it done faster since uh, we're low on bones we've harvested all of our creatures and we're gonna head back out here to get some more sulfur maybe kill some animals for the bones and see if we can finish this thing up however before we do that i wanted to see the patch notes said that they fixed the modifiers here on the crop plots. It looks like they did. So now we no longer have a negative here. It's uh, just a flat zero. But once I enclose this in a greenhouse, this should turn into a positive modifier is my understanding. And so we're going to go ahead and do that today. And as long as all of this stuff is getting ready here, we might as well check it. Just the soybeans. The fridge has been running here without any problems. It's looking good. I mean, we're still losing some stuff every so often, but that's one of the reasons I'm cooking some of this meat up because it's going to stay uh, unspoiled for essentially forever. And I haven't checked the generator. Oh, we're still not even halfway through this first can of biofuel. So that's good. We're going to need some more of these generators at some point. But for now, we're just going to uh, be disconnecting our machines and connecting up the wires to what we need. And so with that, let's uh, make a quick run out here. I'm going to get some, some more supplies. We're right there on the edge. I want to get this greenhouse built and then we'll see what comes next. 
All right, we have made the rounds. I've got a bunch of sulfur, but before that, um, checking on these composites. Looks like we made all the composites, so I'm gonna grab those. And we've gotta turn this machine off so that I can use the electricity for other things. So if I get the electricity tool out, right click on that, that turns it off. And then if we just come over here, uh, did that connect? I think it did. I think it connected through the floor. Perfect. So first off, let's get these bones going because we want to maximize the epoxy we're getting from that. And I'll get that cooking here. And then we're going to go ahead and make some with the sulfur we brought back. We're going to go ahead and just make as much as we can with the tree sap I've got in here because we're going to need so much of this epoxy for all of the things that I want to build today. There we go. I'm going to grab a stack of that and I'm going to just dump the rest of the sulfur into here. I'm sort of holding on to a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory right now that we really don't need, but I'm running out of places to put it all right now. And this was all so that we could build the last two glass walls that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and hit craft on that. There we go. Eight walls, four roofs, a door, and oh, we missed uh, this. We need two of these angled walls for the other side. There we go. Oh, look at that. We've got everything we need. I'm excited. Let's head on out here and see what we can do to reorganize this. Uh, starting with some walls and maybe some angled walls. I'm gonna hop up in here. One, two, where should the door go for this? Hmm, three, four, five. We can always move the crop plots. Um, I'm gonna put the door right here. So let's see, I've got variance, glass wall, door, like so. I'm gonna get my, I built a glass door. I know, a waste of resources, but I wanted it. There we go. This is already getting a boon bonus from having glass walls next to it. Very nice. And I think I'm gonna have the Panels go the same way here as our house roof. That's a left, so I need an angled right. There we go. And we slap some roofs on here, and we're going to be good to go. Boom. There we are. Now, at some point, we are going to need to upgrade these to be the kind that uh, automatically get water because I'm terrible at remembering to water our crops. But fully enclosed now, not just by the window, it went up from 33% to a full 50%. So we are looking good now with these crops. They're going to grow a lot faster, which is not necessarily a great thing because I forget about them all the time. But... You know, faster should be better, especially now that we've got the fridge. We should be able to uh, keep up with these crops a little bit better. And quite honestly, I could fill this whole thing um, with crop plots now if I wanted to. So I'm digging this. This is going to work out really well for us. And I'm just kind of checking in on some of these things that look like they're growing. We've got a little bit of time on those, so let's close this up. I'm quite pleased with our uh, little greenhouse here. I'm going to get a ramp if I have a stone ramp in here. And let me just see, do I have a stairs? Ooh, I do. Let's use the stairs that way. It's a little bit easier to get in and out of here. I like it. All right, now we're starting to look fancy. I like it. So with that out of the way, the next thing that I'm really looking to do is get some better armor. So I'm going to dump these composites into the electric textiles bench. And let's go in here. For talents, actually, I was uh, thinking about this, and I've been doing a ton of uh, lumberjacking lately. I know this seems like a waste of a talent, but I'm going to get the 1% chance to instantly fell trees. So that just like uh, my mineral and ore deposits 
uh, I can instantly get a whole tree into my inventory. It's kind of a silly thing to waste a talent point on, but I can, I think, always respect talent points down the line. And then here, I'm down to one point available. We're almost at the next level. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the chest composite armor just so that we can build one of them and see how this is going to work out for us. Um, I've got to hook up the power here. So let me see. I've got a little node on the floor here. So I'm going to grab from here, connect to there. And... I think I forgot. I might have to disconnect this one. Oh, I did disconnect that one. Um, let's see here. Oh, there we go. Now we've got power. So uh, let's see. Let's see. I need aluminum screws and carbon fiber. Well, that should be easy enough to come by. Uh, aluminum, I've got a ton of. Some carbon fiber. Let's toss that in. Oh, no, those are screws. Uh, carbon fiber. Oh, carbon fiber. Well, I don't have any left in there. What's it going to take to make carbon fiber? Ba -ba -bum, aluminum and a bunch of stuff I already have. Perfect. Uh, silica and organic resin. Let me just grab some of that. We're going to go make this old school so I don't have to change all the power around. Oh, I don't know if I need 16, though. Let's start with four. <laughs> I only need two for the one recipe, but my hope is that I'm going to level up here pretty quick and get the rest of the recipes going. But I don't want to burn through all of my epoxy right out of the gate, just on the off chance that uh, we're going to need that for something else here. So let's go ahead and get these carbon pastes cooking all done there. So let's jump over here and create one composite chest armor. Very nice. All right. We are so close to that level, too. I'm going to go... Well, before I swap this out, I am getting a bit of a armor set bonus here. I'm not overly worried about it. Let's just see what it looks like. Oh, this is going to look so awesome. We're going to be high tech in a second here. All right. So I am coming up just a little bit short on the experience side of things. But if I come in here and just look, I need two, four, six... Eight more carbon fibers. So let me go ahead and make those real quick. I've got two of them, so I'm going to need six more. There we go. I've got all the parts in here. I've got plenty of aluminum if I need to get more. We are at 1,400, 1,500 experience short. So you know what that means? That means there's a tree around here somewhere that needs chopping. Ooh. Or a cat that needs shooting. Let's get this jaguar over here. That should do it. There it is. Level 44. Now, we didn't think this through because that's still not enough points to get all of the pieces here. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock the next three. And let's see here. We need a helmet. We need some pants and some boots. We also need some power. And there's three more pieces of the armor. Um, I think at this point I'm going to give up my set bonus to get three pieces of uh, nice armor uh, tapped, or four pieces actually. There we go. And I am kind of curious what this is going to need to repair. Repair at the electric textiles bench that looks like composites to me that's all right so i'm going to dump all these into the bench just to store them there and it looks like i honestly don't even need the old textiles bench anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and tear this down i'm trying to clean up the base as we go all right so on that note i'm gonna disconnect the stuff that i don't need at the moment uh, let's get this guy hooked back up because this is the one that I kind of go to all the time. Be kind of cool at some point to get an upgraded crafting bench of some sort just because this one looks really uh, janky. I'd love to be able to just consolidate or maybe, you know, if the better benches could make all of the uh, things the lesser benches could make or something along those lines, and that would be sweet. 
but uh, unfortunately we can't do that. Now I'm trying to figure out how to see my fancy new equipment here. Let's try this. There we go. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's looking snazzy for sure. I'm looking forward to getting the hands done and having a full set. But this is going to be uh, good enough to probably start going out on some adventures here and having a lot more survivability, hopefully. And then as long as we're here, let's take a look and see what we've got in the solo talent point queue. Uh, I think we're going to get this physical resistance. We're just going to stack up on that. I should be nigh on indestructible at this point. And then we can kind of figure out what we're going to do with some of these other ones. Um, I'm really thinking maybe even just these uh, melee uh, ones because I do end up using that knife quite a bit. Ooh, animal health bars would be pretty slick. Yeah, hopefully we're going to get a few more t uh, solo talent points before we hit 50 here because I would absolutely love to be able to jump into that. And then uh, we are going to grab, I think, just this uh, maximum health... Uh, talent that I saw here. I can't remember. I thought I said I was going to dive into something else here. Whatever. We can always respect these at some later point. And with that, we have done a ton of base upgrades here. I don't know what this deal is up in my left hand side here, but it's a little bit annoying. The sun is coming up. We've got our crops growing here inside the greenhouse. I'm digging this. We've got a little bit of gardening to do here, but that's all right. We're going to take care of all of that off camera, and uh, we'll check back in next time for a little bit more adventuring. We're probably going to head back out to the desert area now that I've got some uh, equipment that should provide me with better thermal protection while we're wandering around out there. That's the uh, thinking behind getting the better armor anyway. Not a lot of adventuring, mostly upgrades and stuff, but a lot of really important things going on here. And we'll catch you next time for an adventure to the desert. That's all for today. Ketterk out.